Uh, g'day sports fans, Matt Cleary here with um, Golf Australia magazine with the great Damon Oliver, a uh, very sneaky nine marker I might add. <laughs> uh, we're at Commonwealth, um, one of the absolute gems of the sand belt, um, having a magnificent time. Uh, we're just playing with um, the great Nico Hearn as well, uh, fellow lefty fellow uh, sand groper like my man here. Um, how are we having a good time aren't we? We uh, are mate, yes. We are. Um, after it was blowing a hurricane yesterday, yeah. we've, we've got a good day today, and uh, Commonwealth's one of the great sandbelt courses. So, pleasure to be out here with you, mate. David, you've uh, played obviously a few pro ams uh, over the years. I think you played, you said you played with Greg Norman. Yeah, at the time, so. I did, yeah. How was that? Yeah, it was amazing actually. Um, Shark coming towards the end of his career, but I had a wonderful day with him. Shane, the late Shane, great Shane Warren, Andrew okay. Gaze um, at Royal Melbourne oh, in a four ball. yeah, it was a great four board. Was like oh, Hearn, Cleary, and uh... yeah, did, <laughs> didn't want that day to end. Um, it was yeah. Um, yeah, Royal Melbourne, like I said, I think it was wow. like a Heineken, yeah. um, something like that, and uh, it was a great day. Yeah, really enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And who else? Give us another name drop. Uh, the Sultan of Iran or something? Or? No, no. Um, George Gregan. Played oh, a bit George, with him. He also, goes right. Yeah, George. good golfer. Um, played uh, in a pro-am with Johnny Walker with um, Ian Woosnam in, in, at Lake oh, Karen up one oh, take yeah, two okay. in WA. Yeah. Really cool watching him. Yeah, it was. You know, not much taller than me. Yeah. Um, but, and I didn't think he played that well, but by the end of the day, he shot five under or yeah, something, you know, 100%. but sort of really sneaky like that. Yeah, it's amazing watching these pros. We, we, we were actually playing with the great Nico Hearn, who's walking over the distance there, loping along. So he's got this nice sort of hippie sort of thing going on, isn't it? I mean, he's, you know, he's probably <laughs> played more important games than our little uh, I <laughs> think <games>. so, yes. <laughs> but it's, like, it's great watching them and, and the, the tempo that the pros hit it and, um, and that sort of thing. You get, I mean, what does he teach you? I mean, as you said, you're both five foot thereabouts. Yeah, um, I didn't learn a lot off those of those big name pros. You know, yeah, they yeah. kind of keep themselves a little bit. But um, particularly playing with the shark, you could feel the aura that he had yeah. with him um, on a golf course, and um, you know, quite a, quite a bit of presence. And um, yeah, it was uh, towards the end of his career, but still yeah. amazing to play with him. Someone you know, obviously you watched a lot of his career, and you know, so big in Australian golf. Was he something curious about you as well? I mean, you, you had a fair old career in your game yourself. Or, or, the shark sort of, I mean, we love him, but he sort of, he loves him. He, you know, shark loves shark. <laughs> yeah. You know. yeah. <laughs> I anyone, tried. Anyone in his presence is the only sort of subject of conversation. Yeah, you know, like I tried that. to make a bit of small talk with him, but I didn't get very far. You know, he was polite enough to, yeah. you know, have a bit of a conversation, but um, you never felt like you were kind of getting through that exterior. Yeah. Mate, um, can you get anything out of riding horses? Did you do you take any balance or anything in your golf swing? Out of, I mean, for years you you're on the back of, you know, you obviously did balance and I suppose. And I, what what do you take out of being a, a quality jockey that you can take into? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. I'm not. Well, you obviously need balance for both. I'm not sure yeah. if I can bring uh, the balance of racing into to golf, but I mean, probably strategy is is, yeah. is is one thing I can take out of it. I mean, you've got to have a good strategy in racing and also in golf, you know, your course management. I find yeah. um, that both important qualities to have uh, for saving shots um, and, you know, and tactics, I suppose, in a, in a, in a way as well. So yeah. they're probably some of the um, qualities I could bring from racing to golf. Patience might be one, um, waiting till the 200 to see a hole. Yes, also, yeah, and, and probably your frustrations, you know, because yeah. you can build up frustration in golf, you've got to be able to let things go and, and go to the next shot. In racing, it's a bit similar, you know, if you might have eight rides in a day, yeah. one thing doesn't go right for you, you can't carry that around with you too much, you'll be able to let that go and move on to the next race. So there, yeah. there are some good qualities, I think probably more the mental side of things that you can bring from one sport to the other. Mm. And how was it in racing? Because um, you, you, you're beholden to owners, you've got the trainer, a lot of uh, connections as you like, um, who are sort of, you know, re relying on you. How did you, um, I suppose, uh, that, the pressure of that, how did you... Yeah, I um, probably didn't let the outside influences um, affect me too much. I kind of knew what I had to do, and, and I suppose the more experience you get, um, the, the better you get at shouldering those loads and probably not letting the outside influences affect you so much. Yeah, sure, at times that they might might do, but um, I think if you do start letting those outfly, outside influences affect you, then it's going to affect the job you're trying to do. So I think I've always been pretty good at narrowing my focus and, and concentrating on the job that I had to do. Mate, uh, how long have you been playing? You're, uh, what are you, you're about 50-something now, are Yeah, you? I am 52, there so I, I probably started taking it up um, a little bit more seriously in my early 20s. Played a little bit in my late teens, but as a business 
busy apprentice jockey, didn't get much time, so probably more regularly as uh, in my early 20s, and um, I've enjoyed it ever since. Yeah, and um, like you said, you got in about four and a half at some stage yeah. when you were probably, smoking around. Yeah, probably about 10 or 15 years ago, and I was a bit more serious about it. That was the yeah. lowest I got, and the body was probably feeling a, a little bit more uh, fresher and uh, not so many injuries, but um, yeah, I've sort of hung, just hanging on gri grimly to low single, uh, high single figure handicap of nine at the moment. Yeah. And what do you like about it? Uh, what, what, what's, I suppose, the thing about golf for you? Many aspects of it. I, I love the sport. I love the challenge of it. I love the competition. Um, I love being out outdoors, enjoying a good course as well. So, um, you know, you can even have a, a side wager with your mates. We're not a big punter on the golf course, but, um, you know, if it's a, for drinks or a few dollars, it's, it's uh, the competition of, of winning is, um, is really good. And I think now that post-career that I've finished riding, it's something that can still keep the competitive juices going and, and something you can really enjoy with good people and friends. Mate, every now and again, Callaway give you a free stuff. That's all right? Yes, I'm lucky <laughs> enough to be a bit of an ambassador for Callaway. They do look after us, some great equipment, and um, you know, they're, they're good people there. They look after us, so yeah, pretty happy about that. And have you had a decent lesson, mate? If you, if you had to, you got a nice little, let's call it a, a power fade. <laughs> <laughs> we were talking about a, a fetch fade or the... Yes, not the, much power in that fade, but I do play a lefty with a bit of a fade. Um, yeah. Oh, never, you're knocking it out there, 200 there, or yeah, one, yeah, 200. yeah, never had um, many lessons, uh, yeah. the odd tips here and there, but yeah. played, been lucky enough to play with a lot of pro golfers and good golfers and just watch and learn a fair bit as well, but for me it's just more hand and feel and um, uh, just try to keep a, a good rhythm, because I don't hit it that far, but just try and, um, you know, keep it in play as much as I can and, and where I pick up shots around the green where I can, because probably chipping and putting is, is my strength a bit more. Well, I can actually vouch for that because he's uh, chipping around the greens. Uh, he gets it in there, gets a nice little bit of bite, releases, um, and uh, it's pretty sneaky. It's a pretty <laughs> sneaky bit of action he's got going there. <laughs> All right, we'll uh, have a shot here. Carry on. Cheers, mate. And we'll talk again soon.